what's going on everybody welcome back to the scammer uh videos i guess in a way <laughs> so like i said i'm going to start highlighting some stuff just to keep this stuff fresh into people's minds i mean i see these a ton of these a day and a lot of it's just i always say beating a dead horse because it's the same things over and over again onto it but um it's always good to refresh you know to keep your mind fresh like oh man i forgot about people doing this and stuff like that so we're going to refresh onto this stuff. Um, this one here is brought to us by a Facebook group, Sports Card Scammers Exposed. Uh, if you're part of Facebook, you can be part of the group. Be, be aware there's a lot of posts on every day. Some of it's not even really scamish and stuff. And you'll see what I mean if you're part of the group. Some of it does provide good insight and stuff out there. So let's go and take a look at this here. I'm going to pull it up. Boom. So this here um the scammer itself sean andrews ebay shop is cards for sale today boom let's get this over a little more ebay id is zero s h a hyphen two two one oh so this guy here bought a luca auto he's in australia okay i believe if i recall right yeah he's in australia and he paid a big chunk of australian for it and everything like that and if you can see the dates here on to it, you know, guaranteed he could ship the card via FedEx on March 19th, and he paid for it. He provided the, tra he provided the tracking number of Australian Post on 325, so that's over a week later. No updates on tracking, blah, blah, blah. On March 31st, he opens the eBay case up to get his money back, rightfully so. April, I like the way this guy did it because there's a lot of information on to this, too. That's why I'm using this one. So, April 1st, he shipped a parcel by Australia Post. So, he finally went down to Post House. And here you guys go. Um, on April 9th, he received an empty envelope and reported it to eBay. And I'll show you the recording down below onto all this. Um, like I said, he did a really good post on this. I mean, it's a lot of the work I don't even need to do and post on the screen. Let me see if I try to blow this up here real quick, what happens. Oops. I want to make sure you guys can see it a little bit better. All right, there we go. So I blew it up. I know some people are probably going to say, oh, I couldn't see it before. It was too small. So this is about the best you're going to see from taking something over and transferring it over like this. So there we go. So, um... Finally, he gets agreed to the refund. The card was taken by a dishonest pose person, all this stuff. Now, this guy got a lot of slack because the guy wanted to know, why did you photograph the opening? He figured that he, the guy who bought the card was trying to set him up, which is real funny on to. But let me pull this up here, guys. And there won't be any volume probably on to this at all. But it just gives you an idea, you know, guy gets the parcel, he shows everything on to it. And, you know, he's like, huh, you know, this is kind of odd. Feels a little light. You get my commentary on this. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, what's going on in here? Whoa, there's bubble envelopes. Where's my card? Oh, nothing inside this bubble envelope. All right, empty. Oh, well, this one's tore open partly has a name on to it or something nothing inside it oh, oh wait there there's our little receipt in there saying it was shipped guys looking it over matches up with everything he's like hmm what else can we got on here maybe, maybe it's hidden maybe it's invisible and that's the end of the video right there all right guys so we'll see there's some stuff that came on to here and stuff like that this guy, and this is the seller here. It says, Dear Eric, I did not send you an empty box. Can you please explain to me why you, why, how you received the item? Why did you choose to, to photography the opening? And stuff like that there. Well, I mean, of course you want to because you already had issues trying to set it out. You know, that, that's a good thing to do. If I don't know the person, trust me, I do that all the time. And I really would advise anybody, if you're buying something from somebody you don't know, to do that. Especially if you know people don't ship properly, you know, and stuff's loose, always do it. Always open up on camera. Even if you're not putting it on a YouTube channel or something, always do it for evidence, guys. Always. That's a good lesson there. 
Um, that's the Australian payment. And then the funny part is, this is showing the guy's part up here, right? Guess what card's back up for sale? Right there. So he's showing the card was put back up for sale, which is funny. And this, of course, is on auction. But that's the one that he bought right there. Never was sent to the guy. Let me see how to close this out here. But there was a lot on to it. The guy even went further on to this. And he was like, oh, hold on. This is an Australian post, like, where you, how we have it with USPS, like, finding their item or insurance claims. They did it. And this is the thing that came back to them. Um, me, oh, hold on. Let me go like this. I'll blow it up. So this shows everything on to it here. You know, they did their investigation or whatever, and the sender has not raised an inquiry with them. There was no indications of theft. All that fun stuff on there. So, yeah, straight up, guys, be aware of this dude out there. Um, again, that's the name here, Sean Andrews. This is the eBay ID. It's a zero, SHA, S-H-A, hyphen, 2210. Put that on your block list. That's his, that's the eBay shop name there. Just not cool overall onto it. I mean, you could tell the guy didn't open this prior to it and try to restuff it and do all that craziness. I mean, it's just flat out right wrong. Um, somewhere on here, he was talking about that it was reposted. And that's what those other pictures were on to here. But you got to go through like 261 comments on here. But I'm not going to go through the whole thing on to it. But I wanted to bring this up, you know, just for the fact that there are some bad things going on out there. People do try to take advantage of the um, overseas. I almost said O'Conus because I'm thinking military jargon again. But try to take advantage of that stuff. And both buyers and sellers have over the past onto it. That's why I just use the global shipping method with eBay onto it, to be honest. Um eBay does their thing. Once it gets to eBay, it's in eBay's control from there, not me. Uh, with this being said, um, if you guys want me to do something like this each week, I'm sure most of you do. I have no issues doing something like this here. Uh, we can highlight some of the posts onto here or other places that I've seen and stuff. And you can uh, get, you know, just refresh the old uh, brain like I do. Like, oh, man, I forgot this stuff's still going on. Or this is crazy. It's, you know, they're still being caught for this and that. Um, I'm not going to post stuff where guys po pay friends and family on Instagram and all that. You guys should know. Don't pay friends and family. Unless you really, really trust that person, don't do it. It's just as easy as that. Um, the other stuff is just minute stuff where people are doing returns on cards and stuff like that there. If there's something where it's a switcheroo because it's serial number and that, I'll post about it. But most of the stuff there, you know, is just hard. I mean, you never know if the seller did disclose it or not and all that stuff with damage and people wanting to grade and spend that almighty 300 to get their stuff graded. $300. Get it super expressed. But other than that, everybody, have a good rest of the week. Mm, I had something else I was going to say. Lost my train of thought. But anyhow, hopefully PSA pops this week for us, so we'll have something maybe towards the end of the week to show you guys. If you guys are in the Louisville area, May 8th, hit me up. i got a show I'll be at. You guys come by, say hello. I'll probably be there at about noon, 1 o'clock like normal. I don't stick around long at them set up. Um... Don't forget, BST uh, Sports Cards up. There's probably about, I think he said, like 200 cards now listed on to. It's growing steadily each week. So if you guys haven't had a chance, check it out. I got some stuff on there as well, too. I'm rotating stock around on the websites. Oh, and if you're new to the channel, that's why I forgot. I always forget to say this, but I, I, I don't know. I just no, normally just don't say it. But if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so that way, you know, you know, whenever my posts and stuff go out, if you want to hit the little bell button and get the notifications too, that'd be great. But we're trying to creep up to 4,000 here, so that way we can do another nice big giveaway. I, last I checked, we were just over 3,500 right now. 
So I do appreciate everybody's support. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video Wednesday. I Bowman should be here, so maybe open up a Bowman box live or something. We'll see about that night. I do have a couple boxes I got to ship out too. So depending on what time uh, the post office uh, or post office UPS drops off a day, plan on maybe me going live 7, 8, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Depending on when it comes in, I get everybody else's stuff packaged up. Fire that, everybody. Take care. Have a good week. Catch y'all later.